printing transparent negatives is a very simple operation, but many users do not know the proper printing process. And, this video is for these users. Before we start printing, we need to know that printing with generic operating system drivers is quite imprecise. If we want to take full advantage of our printer, we must always install the original printer manufacturer's driver. Drivers are most commonly found on manufacturer's websites. We always check the operation of the printer nozzles before printing transparent negatives. If the nozzles are clogged, it is impossible to print a quality negative. The nozzle check command is almost always called the nozzle check and is located in the printer maintenance window. When we run the program, it prints a few lines of all available printer inks. If the lines are broken, the nozzles must be cleaned until the lines are displayed without interruptions. Now, we will talk about the print mode. The printer prints using a smaller or larger number of inks installed in the printer. The colors are part of the CMYK color space so that we will notice the colors, cyan, magenta, yellow and black. In this color space, the black color, the so-called K, the key color, is quite bright. Therefore, if we select grayscale printing, printing with just black ink, the printer will print a fairly bright image. If we want the negative to be much darker, allowing better UV light blocking, we always choose color printing. In this case, the printer prints black by mixing all available printer inks. The black color becomes much darker this way. When printing, we usually have several printing options available. The printer may print as dictated by the program, Adobe Photoshop, or as dictated by the printer driver. Since we do not know by what criteria Adobe Photoshop will print our negative, we choose the option in which the printer chooses the printing method. In this case, we have three options. For the same reason as before, we should not use automatic printer settings. The off, no color adjustments, solution is also useless for us, as it does not allow color control. So, we select the manual settings option. In this mode, we will find an option through which we can determine the print density. In this case, if our printer does not block UV light well enough, we can increase the print density. In practice, the densest printing blocks UV light up to 25% stronger. Since most printers do not have built-in profiles for printing on transparent films, we most often choose the matte paper option, and of course, we must choose the best print quality. We are now saving all the settings as we will be using them quite often. In the next step, we check the quality of our printer and the choices. Since this is a bit challenging for a beginner, we will skip the search for a resolution that matches our chosen photographic technique. You can read more about this in the book Easy Digital Negative 2nd Edition. The only thing that matters to us, is that we currently most often use a 300 or 450 dpi resolution for printing negatives. At lower resolutions, the image will be slightly poorer in quality, and at higher resolutions, it can easily become too artificial. We go to easydigitalnegatives.com, and download the test chart zip, or test charts 450 dpi zip file, to our computer via the download menu. The desired file, I recommend using the testcharts.zip file, is extracted, and in our case, we print the gray table EDN RGB 256 TIFF. The file is opened in a digital photo processing program, inverted, mirrored, and printed with pre-saved settings. When the transparent film is dry, we check the quality of the settings. We examine the squares with a slightly stronger magnifying glass. If we notice straight lines in certain fields, it means that we have encountered so-called horizontal banding. This banding is most often caused by a misalignment of the print head from the film surface. There are quite a few solutions to fix this error. We can change the head's distance from the surface on more expensive printers, but it is almost impossible to eliminate this error on cheaper ones. In this case, we first try to use another type of transparent film. If changing the transparent film doesn't work, we can help ourselves with a few other settings described in the Easy Digital Negatives book. But, but, we must be aware that this error is visible only under a magnifying glass and is, in most cases, invisible in the regular examination of the image. Well, let that be enough for today. In the next video, we will learn how to find the basic printing time to check UV light blocking. Thanks for your time, and see you soon.